Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Josh. And it's Jarvis. All right, guys, this is my um, younger brother I was telling you guys about. He's the one who smashed the crawfish. We'll go into that a little later when we're in Alabama. <laughs> the one who I say is okay now, but he's a smashed crawfish. Right. <laughs> I've been talking up the idiot Rod to him. I've been talking to my car on um, Pilkington, how hilarious the guy is. And um, he wanted to check this one out with me. So this is uh, Idiot Abroad episode one, um, I mean season one, episode six. And guys, like always, all our videos are based on your recommendations below, so please continue to comment. And if you are subscribed, we check out those comments and recommendations first. All right, so we're going to jump into it. Carl, sending you to see Christ the Redeemer, magnificent religious symbol that towers down over Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. What's your first thoughts of it? Look how big that statue is. I just think of the people who live in Rio, right? They've got that there every day when they leave the house, they see it. Yeah. Oh, it's there again. Sick of seeing it. <laughs> like a pylon to them, that. <laughs> get sick of it. Um, it's a good place to meet, you know, it's, you, you know, you can see it from everywhere. Yeah, I don't think it was built as a rendezvous point, to be fair. No. I think it's also something to do with the spirituality of the country, but it's not just that that you'll be seeing, you'll be experiencing Brazil as well, a magnificent country. You know the carnival's going to be on when you're there. Okay, isn't it? Is, is that, is, is, do, you, do you feel like you have to be part of that to enjoy it? Or do you feel left out? I understand. Well, I I'd be so confused because I don't think Rio Carnival is known specifically for its gay fans. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of men with hands and little posing pouches. Listen, if you want to see a guy in his speedos and nothing else, this is the place to go. Kind of <laughs> mm, that's what I mean. I'm not really into that. Can we make a note <laughs> in a song? Please, please, please get in the spirit. Uh, well, I'm, not, I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't do, normally do on holiday. No, but you're, 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 <laughs> when you're on the beach, you're in trunks. Oh, you? shit. No, I don't. I'm in shorts. So, <laughs> how short? What's the shortest shorts you'd be willing to wear? Would you wear hot pants? No, there's no need for that. <laughs> no, there's no, there's no need, no need no. to wear trunks like that. No, I'm not doing anything for the cameras. I'm Red braces. I'm just going to go. I'm going to look at this. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. I don't need to go to the gay parade. There's no need. That's not, not the way to <laughs> mm. oh, go. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't hey, man, no. <laughs> hey, that's me all day. He's making a, a point. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Quinn funny as hell too, though. Yeah. Quinn's like, ah. He's like, I ain't no sense. <laughs> so you don't want to do nothing this else. This is the hottest I've ever experienced, wow. this. Absolutely. Cheesy. Oh, see it. that? Wow. Ringing. Oh, that's that the Jesus thing up there, Chris? Just see all right on that hill. Yeah, that's the Jesus thing. <laughs> Not as big as I thought it would be. What do you think of this? No. This is uh, Copacabana Beach. It's alright, isn't it? I mean, I know I didn't come for that. I meant to be looking at the, <laughs> the Jesus thing, but... This, this makes, makes the Jesus thing better, doesn't it? You know, that's like a nice little added extra. You're on the beach, have a look up. There it is. What? That thing that's in the films. Oh, aye. Going swimming again. <sighs> Still hot, though, isn't it? I mean, is it normal to have sweaty ears? I've never had a sweaty ear in my life. <laughs> I mean, they're not, they're not even doing anything. And they're all... You can't have one, you see. I've just got to get to the place that Ricky and Steve have sorted out for me to stay at. I don't know anything about it other than um, they said that it was a good place to meet people. I don't know what that means. Hi. Hi. I'm Welcome Carl. to Pirates of Ipanema. So this is your gaff, is it? Yeah. Let's go, man. This is a kitchen, and when you cook anything, you try to keep clean it, the area, okay? Don't tell me that, tell the last fella in there. <laughs> yeah. This normally is oh, a, no. it's a place for food tables, but well. in carnival, man, stay crazy with the 100 persons inside of the house. Okay, and the people sleep in their mattress. It's going to be 100 people in there. Yeah, people sleep there, man. They more cheaper, but sleep there, because it's crazy. And this is your dorm. You stay here. Close off the window. How much is it here? How much is it normally to stay here for a night? Four pounds point five. Have you got anything for about six quid? What? A little bit better? <laughs> anything for just a little bit, dearer? Just a little bit. Just 
round six or seven pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no, we don't. No. Right. Now he's put this dude up in the worst places, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's roughing it, then he's roughing it. This isn't proper roughing it. This is just scruffy bastards. Oh, shit. It's all right, just... Uh, four quid. I think it's overpriced. Is <laughs> it? <laughs> you are having a laugh. Well, Ricky and Steve thought you needed to socialise with other people, so that's why they put you... socialising. I don't do that. I'm just not that sort of person. I'm old in my age now. You know, I've got enough friends. I've always said you only need seven mates to get you through life. That's it. That's why, you know, I've mentioned Snow White with the midgets. She had them all covered in seven. Same thing again with friends. I just found out that the Rio Carnival's on, uh, which is the big dance thing that they do in Brazil every year. Ricky and Steve are probably aware of this, and that's why they've sent me here this time of year, you know, because they know I don't like crowds, they know I don't like parties, so to them this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, hey, they've sorted out a local fella called a Hickey who's going to teach me how to do the samba. He's, uh, he's going to pick me up on his motorbike. You know, I came to dance. <laughs> we are preparing to you to do this big parade, okay? So first of all, we should do a little bit. What do you mean? We are going to parade with this big school of samba. Well, I'm going to be doing it in front of thousands of people, camera and everything else. It's going to be quite a uh, performance. Like a that. <laughs> okay, you dare here. Do it again, do it again, do it again. <laughs> Front, back, cha, cha, cha. Cha. No, 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 no. Is there no area where you've just got a load of people who aren't very good, but you let them take part because they're it's simple or something? Just put me with them. Pushing you to the higher level, that's what you're going to wear in this, your headdress. You're just going to look lovely like this. It's just fun. Is everyone going to be wearing this? Is <laughs> everyone? I'm not ready for this, am I? I mean, this is like their World Cup final, isn't it? And you wouldn't, you wouldn't say, oh, Carl likes a game of footy, stick him in goal. She shouldn't have me anywhere near it. What do you think? Andy Pandy on crack. He said you on crack, he apparently on crack. What does that sound like? I mean, I'm in Rio, right? I'm meant to be seeing Christ the Redeemer. So. What am I doing dressed up like a clown taking part in a carnival? I mean, what am I meant to get out of this? Look at this. It's not a good sign, is it? I've got shit on it and the thing's coming off. I'm sure one day I'll look back at this and go, well, it's in the carnival. But it's just not happening now. I'm sort of thinking, I'm in the carnival now. Like, what am I doing here? <laughs> they I mean, do like this all. There's so many side missions and stuff they send this guy on that have nothing to do with the primary <laughs> thing, and it's fantastic. I mean, when a hickey said, you know, we were going to a samba drone, I pictured something, just something better than this, really. I mean, what, what is this? We're in the middle of nowhere, just like a trading estate, isn't it? Uh, with a bit of kitchen lino on the road for people to dance down. People sat either side on the chairs. I mean, it's, it's nothing special, is it? Our, our float starts. I think three or four floats that way. Yeah. So really, I couldn't be any further back. 
I mean, it's, it's almost like <laughs> being at the back of uh, the London Marathon. By the time I go over the end line, people are at home in bed. Yeah, I might as well be dressed as a rhino in a fun run. I feel like that. I mean, I'm next to like, <laughs> you know, I can't ask for more really. I'm right at the back, and with some 70 year olds, if I can't look good in this, I shouldn't be here. Oh, look at that blister. <laughs> Bloody hell. I don't know if she's in the carnival or just earning a few quid at this time of night. I've no idea. <laughs> I mean, if I've got blisters on my feet, I dread to think what an arse is like. <laughs> 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 Are you going to go for a wash? Ah, forget it. Not worth it, is it? You've seen the mattress. <laughs> Not worth it. <laughs> like, You've seen dear. the toilets. Oh, no. It's the equivalent of having one of those sort of Romanians at traffic lights clean your windscreen. They don't do a good job because they can't. They've got some dirty water and a dirty sponge. Same as in there. But, <laughs> uh, Sure. Like I say, I can't sleep anywhere tonight. Don't you want to go down and have a drink and have a party? No, it's embarrassing, isn't it? I'm like, I could be some of their dads. Be like your dad going to a party that you're having and stuff. I mean, I'm hoping that they kind of think I am old and at least when they come back up here later, they might be quiet, don't wake him up, he's old. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happier in an old people's home. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> They'd all be in bed now. I barely sleep already, so trying right. to like, yeah, like going to something like that and not getting any. Oh my god, it'll ruin my entire day. It'll ruin the entire trip. Trip, sure. yeah. Did you sleep? A bit of bollocks. Can you sleep in this? I can't do this. Seriously, I can't do it. I'm not letting Ricky and Steve sort of do this. Because that isn't what it's about. <laughs> you sort of feet. <laughs> they tell you what, they wouldn't do it. No, no. Rick and Steve wouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? There's no way Steve could hack it here. He goes on to his mum and dad's one's got a cold. You know that? Right, my dad. <laughs> It's not the first time I've seen that since I've uh, since I've been here. I don't even get the impression they're that religious here, to be honest. I suppose with uh, a lot of religious people, it's it's about covering up, isn't it, and being quite, you know, not being sexy. Whereas here, you, know, <laughs> you, you feel like you've been out with some of the women. You've seen that much of them. You know, everything's on show, isn't it? There's nothing left to the imagination here. <laughs> I mean, look at him. No shame. Just. Just nipping out for a loaf. When I go to bed, <laughs> normally wearing more than that, just in case something happens in the night, a fire alarm goes off or something, you've got to leave the house. What do you say? 
Yeah. It's not throwing it because I, I think they like when you um, rest. He like essentially at night you wear it more than that because if something happens, you want to be like be able to get out like that. You know, house on fire, right, right, like right. that. Like, and it's the same as broad day. Like this guy's walking around with speedos. Speedos on, on yeah. yeah. I'm here in Brazil, you know, to see Christ the Redeemer, right? The wonder of the world, the reason why I'm meant to be here. And yet, Rick and Steve are saying, "Oh, don't be worrying about that. Yeah, we've got some other plans for you. You know, get down to the beach and meet this local fella. His name's Celso. You know, he's, he's going to show you around the place." It's you. It is me, yeah. He's How are you? Yeah, Celso. Cel. I'm Celso. How are Celso. you? Nice to meeting you. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Want to sit down? No, I don't want to sit down. I, I, I no. just want to give you something that the first contact we always have to wear it. Calm down. Oh, I've never had that as a gift on a yeah, first sure. meeting before. Yeah, sure. A little bit forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Tell me what's going on. You will see in a minute. Why is there no other men in here? Why is there no other men? There's a woman well, over there looking no. at me in a funny way. Yeah, they, they, they have a woman here, but they have a lot of men that come here too. You've known me now for a, a bit. <laughs> will I be happy with this? Wait. <laughs> will I be happy with this? Well, you know those guys that do serve? No. They no. wax here. Would you like to try? Not really. Do I seem like the sort of bloke who, who has a wax? I'm like an ape. Well, you look you look nice to have a wax. It's gonna work a lot. Yeah, but my girlfriend likes it. She likes it. Does she? Yeah, she loves it. She loves the air of it. I can get out while she gets undressed if you want. No, oh, no. no. Cause some girls do like, like Tay likes like that's why like I started growing. Tay likes Harry. She wants me to grow my beard and all that jazz. I, I mean, used to, that's, that's... I used to trim it close to my face, but she likes it grown out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, if, yo, yeah. Yo, if the girl likes it, you, go whatever your girl likes. Almost, yeah. yeah. But damn, I just can't. I want to go. I want to do that. No, I she will have to just deal without it. Yeah, yeah. like growing my hair. Yeah. I want to... Why don't you try I even on, on your arms a little bit? It's like if my hair was much hair. better yeah. without a hair. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that bit you're having done there, I wouldn't mind getting that done because sometimes I have to tuck it in my pants. That's a sign it's a bit too long, isn't it? When you have to start tucking it in. Ah, that's what I hurt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Relax. If you relax, oh. you won't enjoy it. Oh, Jesus. That's no, bad, that. That didn't. is bad. She did. She took a bit then. No, just a little bit, just to see if it's ready. Uh, She's ah, 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 Jesus. Oh, you can hear it. It's like tearing paper. Is it bleeding? Uh, uh, there, is a, there is two other parts. <laughs> Is if I left it, would it look stupid? Uh, it's not good. It seems that you have something here. She shouldn't be laughing, to be honest. Uh, 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 oh, it looks so it's clean. Spiking. Yeah? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. No, you're good. Nice. Really nice. I didn't feel it. I suppose it's good for me to meet different kinds of people, isn't it? You know, there's no point having mates who are all the same. Let's see some little boy. Something for the beach. What do you think? I. I don't think this is necessary. I mean, Celso's different to me other mates. He got him. He'd be like, you know, a new addition. Would you like to see some of these over there in front? To see each one fits on you? No, honestly, I don't, I don't want a pair. <laughs> There's no wrong with these. Do you know what I mean? That's all you need. Yeah. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> all right, mate. How are we Uh... I don't know if I'm seeing the real Brazil, to be honest. I mean, I, oh. No, I just mean in terms of like, you know, what I've been up to. Tall and thin and young and handsome, the boy from me, Panima, goes walking in. When he passes, each one he passes goes, oh. How do I look? Oh my God, bless him. <laughs> no, well, he, he, he bought me some. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't, I don't understand why you need that much of a tan. When I get home, I won't, I won't be saying, look at the colour of me, whipping my arse out. Just the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
thing if you ain't not gonna try them on. <laughs> You're feeling hot, aren't you? Well, because I'm used to this. Sweating. Your feet are killing me. How about the, the thing that I bought you yesterday? Don't you feel comfortable now that it's so hot to wear it? Because I'm going to wear mine. I'm already wearing it. Well, you can see the arse and they'd be looking at it and going, oh, look at the state of it. Ah! Oh, it's going to look at you. Yeah, they are. Oh, no. I have to tell you a story about this part of the beach. On the 70s, all the artists used to come here to smoke marijuana and do this kind of stuff. And then since then, this part of the beach become a very famous and a gay beach too. And I would like to sit down because I'm tired. Well, we've been walking miles. Just keep going for another couple of minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. Come on. I would like to sit down. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep walking. Bloody hell, we're only another two minutes of the Come on. We can, but I would like to sit down. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's a beach like any other beach. Yeah, but it's oh, like, wow. honestly, do you know what I saw that? Oh Being closed in. I love this, <laughs> this weather. Yeah, I'm not enjoying oh, this it. This wind. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, no, there, there's a chair for us. Oh, no, 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 no. I need a chair. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, so, like, stop it. I'm so stupid, man. So stupid, man. Because we walked out this time. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I have to take my take, my, sh my shirt off because it's too cold. <laughs> are you, are you, guy? Oh, what do you think? It's hard to tell. I think there's a friend of mine. Not that much to see you again. Are you going to have a pair of shirts? How are you doing? Yeah, Marcelo. Marcelo. I'm nice Carl. Nice to meet you. Hi, Carl. How are you doing? Welcome to Rio. You're happy. But look, you're crying <laughs> over there. No, I'm fine. Because I've got, I've got a few. I've got you can't be fine. Oh, fine. Honestly. It's close in Rio de Janeiro. It's like, please your ego. You have no voting value. You're also whitey it. and you get pinky. It's a lovely color. Like really, really lovely. Different from everyone else. People like the difference. <laughs> so why do you have to hide your beauty? I keep it from a girlfriend. A girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, the others. What do you mean the rest of humanity? You just need to be looked at. This is what the beach is all about. It's not. That's why I don't come here that much. I don't want to be I just thought a quiet bit. Let's look. go for a quiet walk. I said, let's have a look at a quiet walk. Really? Look at this. Keep it from your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna have some some massage and I would like you guys to join me. No, I'll watch. I don't need one. <laughs> oh, yeah. so poor. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Seeing people on the back we're up. Fucking up. <laughs> so it's buddy like this tour guy? Yeah. Okay. Tell you what, so you should have had his ass thing. Thing. He had his back in his front then. Look at that there. Eh? You know, to think that earlier on, uh, you know, I was asking whether he's gay or not. A little bit daft now. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to moan, do you know what I mean? I know I'm quite lucky to do oh, what I do. Oh, you know, the stupidest stuff, so... I thought the idea was that Ricky and Steve wanted me to broaden my mind. That's what this is all about, but being in that carnival yesterday, that, that didn't broaden my mind, did it? I just knacking my legs up. You know, I'm here to see Christ the Redeemer, the wonder of the world. Why can't I just see that and go home? But now they're calling up saying, oh, why, why don't you go and see a block party? Uh. You seem to have a party for any occasion, really. It doesn't have to be your birthday. It's just, it's a Wednesday. Let's have a, let's have a get together. So, uh, yeah, that's what a block party is. Just going along, hundreds of people. You know, I don't like being in crowds, but uh. apparently you get quite busy. The closest thing I've probably done to this block party is when I was a kid and it was the Queen's Jubilee. And like, you know, people turned up on a street, yeah. you brought your own food, everyone had a good time and went home. I didn't enjoy that. I remember sort of my mum being annoyed that Scruffy Sandra turned up and had a load of trifles, you didn't bring anything. It's basically a big queue with someone playing some music. Episodes I don't know what I'm queuing for. 
I mean, eight sort of silly weeks and stuff. I mean, maybe I'm miserable, maybe I'm the only one here who isn't enjoying it, but if I'm not enjoying it, I shouldn't be here. I know this isn't for me. He has just haven't stopped since I've been here. I get off the plane, they were sweating. I've never had sweaty ears. And since then, they've been overworked with constant, you know, drums, singing, whistles, chanting, dogs, helicopters, gays. Massage for your ego. Gays wouldn't normally be on that list, but the one I met here just wouldn't shut up. <laughs> Great place to live if you're deaf. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I'd say that, Ria. Lovely and relaxing if you're deaf. I didn't get right here. How's the hostel? Oh, I, I left that in the end. Did my head in. You left, you left it? Yeah, I it was ridiculous. I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that fussy in that, but it, it was minging. <laughs> it was underpants hanging on the end of my bed and they weren't even mine. <laughs> I've heard that's a gay term, B and B, for bum and bollocks. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say it to you. I'm not that bothered. I mean, I know his, his, his house is going to be nice and where I am now. Well, what am I doing with him? Is it a night in? Can we just have a game of cards? Or... Right, right. Have a game of cards. What are you doing? You go in there, have a bed. He's having a bit of fun. He's having a bit of fun. Where are you? Come in. Here in Brazil, we have a tradition. When a friend or, or someone come to your place, this person have to sleep on your bed. Stop! <laughs> this is when you receive a I've friend. I've never heard of this. No. Yeah, but this is Brazil. Up. This is here in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to do that. But that's, that's the, the, the tradition yeah, in but Brazil. I don't, I don't know about the traditions. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. That's the way to say that you're welcome to my place. <laughs> Look at his face, this is like a lot of Yeah, and that's where I sleep. So where are you, where are you gonna go? I, I have to work. I'll be back late tonight. Oh my god. When Steve said go and stay, I did expect something different. I thought it'd be a bigger place. I mean, I ate, I ate anything that's overcrowded. I can't even think straight. <laughs> I mean, for me, popping that up there, pop it in the bin. It's just like, look, there's a hole there, shove it in. That seems to be his thing in there. If there's a hole, pop something in it. And it's nothing to do with anything, but this is mental. I think it's a tradition that you should do if you've got the room for it. I don't even like this, I'm just having it because again I feel guilty. I'm just doing all stuff to please the fellow who I don't even know. He doesn't even tell me what he does and stuff. <sighs> oh Jesus, what was that? Here I am. How are you? May I sit down? Sit down, yeah. Excuse me? Ah, oh, I'm ready to go to job. This is the last thing you should know about me. I'm a female impersonator. Close your mouth. That's a female impersonator. My name is Lorna Washington. Why so surprised? It's just weird. It's weird. Uh... The way I behave, you know. I don't, no, no. I don't, I don't... No, just sort of looking at you, hearing the voice coming out that I know. Oh, yeah? But it's like you've had... Wurzel Gummidge sort of change the head. Change the head. It's a little bit freaky. Okay. Uh, it looks scary. Be yourself comfortable. Be at home. You're home. I'm leaving. All right. Bye. Have a nice night. I'll see you when you get back. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Is it normal? This this Brazilian tradition of making everyone feel welcome. Does that still count when you say I want you to stay, but I'm going out? I don't see how that that counts. I don't know what's going on out there. Things like that freak me out. I'd wake up in the night without laughing at me or something. I 
like a like Chucky. <laughs> I've been in the toilet and there's a couple of cockroaches. I know we're in Brazil, they're everywhere, but I don't like them. I can't see him now. Don't worry about it. So he's got two fridges to put place in. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I need a garlic. Where's the garlic? Is it in that one, that one? No, it's not, it's down here in the corner with a cockroach next to it. <laughs> no! <laughs> I've heard that cockroaches are like the, the toughest thing that's on the planet. They say like, if there's a nuclear bomb, yeah, they're here. They'll, they'll carry on living. Yeah. Yet in Celso's kitchen, dead. I mean, it's a bit rude, isn't it, sort of looking at his house whilst he's out. Well, then again, he shouldn't be out, should he? It's his house. I said it all there. It's his house, and he's not here. I don't yes, think we should that. stay. Yeah. Hiya, Celso. It's Carl. Uh, we haven't got your mobile phone number, so we've had to call your home number. Um, even though we're still sat here. But we're about to leave because it's, it's too noisy. Hope your Friday night was good. Uh, thanks for having us round. Honestly, I don't know why he invited me round. Because it's a bit weird, isn't it, that he gets me round and then he goes out. The only thing I can think of is, you know, he lives in quite a rough neighbourhood and he's thinking, oh, I'll get Carl round, you know, he can be a bit of security. That's all I can think of. <laughs> I just want to go to work. I was surprised a quiet little bit, beach, man. really. Get away from it all. Because it's, uh, it's wearing me out. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I'm feeling, man. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's just been a, a full on week, hasn't it? You know, what with the carnival? It's only been a week. Party, and <laughs> that late night at Celso's and stuff. I said it's only been a week. Been been a week for relaxed about it, that's, that's too long for me. Yeah. I can't be anywhere for a week. It's not I holiday. I thought it was. That's why I took the job on, to be honest. But, uh, it's a good beach. The sea's a bit active. This I wouldn't get in that. Yeah, yeah, other than that, it's, it's nice enough. Like they say, that doesn't make good TV. I worry that, you know, there's more people beach, turning up. It's not that big. What will be here if it's crowded? Oh no! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I never enjoy anything, can I? Is, is, is that the plan to never let me just have a normal, nice day? I'm not. Do uh, you know? I didn't put trunks on, did I? I'm not going to walk around with me cock and bollocks out. Oh God. <laughs> not even that. Oh yeah. He's kept his t-shirt on. His pants. A little bit hot down there. Gotta whip them off. Nice Stop bending over now for the <laughs> I've never seen anyone bend over so much as him. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm alright, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> okay, but here in this beach you have to remove your clothes. It's an atrium beach. What, if I want to stay here I have to take them off? Yeah. These are the rules? Yeah, it's the rules of this beach. Oh no. The one that's quite interesting is if, um, if a male beach goer gets a bit sort of excited, <laughs> go into the sea it says until it calms down. <laughs> Go. But that's embarrassing because that means everyone knows what's happening. If you suddenly just suddenly run into the sea and stand there <laughs> looking round, I wonder if these two women here, it's their job to be on here so it doesn't happen as much. It's like a little, you know, a safety thing to stop it happening. I haven't seen one fella run in there and, and look worried. <laughs> what are you doing? It's been going down the beach. We can't be moaning about that then. Here well, we go. I haven't finished, it was a uh, no, no, no. nudist beach. No. <laughs> that's good, isn't it? You know, I didn't, I didn't like it, I just felt a bit uncomfortable there. And old people's stuff is, because they're doing that all the time, it was all like leather. <laughs> it's not about being nude and being free and that, they just don't like wearing pants. That's the end of it. The pantators. Oh, 
Well, yeah, I saw that. The, uh, the camera was the camera the I don't know who, who was going to watch that. It was the radio time for the day. And now on Sky One, Carl Pilkington, an idiot who doesn't know anything, walking around looking at old men's knobs. I mean, well. I don't know. It's not going to be a great write up, is it? It's, it's not, I mean, Sky One normally put that sort of shite out. <laughs> I think it's, uh... That's good, that's it. Where's it? Yeah, okay. Oh, we've, got, we've, got, we've, uh, we've got the trailer sorted. You're doing weirdo. <laughs> well, I'm going up the mountain today, aren't I, to see the Christ for Redeemer. Which is a little bit weird that they've stuck it so high up on a mountain out of the way. It's almost like the locals don't want people to see it. I mean, on a cloudy day, you can't. Uh, it's, it's weird. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm just going to go up and have a look. Well, Steve sorted out a woman to give me a lift. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go and have a look at it, see if it's any good. You know, I'm here to broaden the mind. I'll give it a go. I'm not, I'm not saying it's going to be rubbish before I've, I've seen it. I, th I sort Come of think out. from a distance, Jesus, top of a hill, looking like he's a, you know, about to bungee jump. You pass it, you go, <laughs> there he is. Great, what else are we doing? That's enough, really, for me. Guys, nice to see you, nice oh, to see yeah. you too. And Dolores now. Dolores. Yes. Dolores. So, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this now. We're from Gator, well, obviously. I'm the driver. Yeah, you are. You're going to go from there. 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 How many yeah, stairs are there? Beautiful, yeah, 220. Wow. 220. 220 steps, yeah. There he is. There he is. Come here, you're going to sit very well. I will explain you very good. You yeah. are in the top of the world, man. Wow. Come, 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 because this is the view, you know. Look what a beautiful. Oh, that's, and then here, no, look here, look from here with this light behind. Seems like magic. Look at the face, which is so delicate, so clean. The weight of the statue is 1,145 tons. And there's not a lot there to punish anybody to say, no, it's open arms, blessing the city. Nice woman and everything. But um, it's that thing, isn't it, that she loves it so much that. I'm not going to change your mind. I mean, I'm not going to come here and say, you know, it's it's all right, but it's not that amazing, is it? It's like telling someone that like, the kid's ugly. It doesn't matter how ugly that kid is. They're, the mum and dad love it to bits. And I didn't want to say, but when I was looking up, I thought the, the chin looks a bit big. <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> all the rest of it is brilliant. The proportions, his arms and that, his body, but they just need to, to chip away a bit more, I reckon, at the chin. It's a bit sort of Jimmy Illish. <laughs> oh, Say so if I get back home and someone says, you've seen the uh, Christ Redeemer? I go, yeah. And they go, what, what, what's it like? I probably just say, it's like, a, it's like a big ornament. Do you know what I mean? It's like something me, me Auntie Nora would have, sort of next to the telly. But I'd say, if you're going to come up here, it's not about that, it's about that lot. It's about coming up here and seeing all, all the view there. Knock that down. You still get a crowd coming up here. You could stick anything there. You could stick a cafe there. And people would come up here, you can charge as much as you like because you, you've got nowhere else to go, you're trapped. You're dying of thirst. Charge about four quid for a can of coke. <laughs> the only mistake I made is, I said like, he had a chin like Jimmy Hill. <laughs> and after that, people told me it's, it's not his chin, it's his beard. <laughs> I know, I know it. So they could have just done with chipping a bit more out, put some, make it look a bit more airy. <laughs> I was saying that there's so many sort of flying ants around there. I imagine the workers going, I've had enough of this. Does that look like a beard? Yeah, it does, Bob. Let's go. I'm not hanging around here. That ruined it a bit. I don't know why there's so many flying ants around. I'm not sure have wings. I mean, when you see them walking, they're all over the place. You sort of go forwards and then come back exactly the same path and shoot off over there and come back again. If they're not good at walking, they're going to be useless with wings. I mean, if I don't like it, there's no point in me saying, oh, it's magnificent, that. 
Do you know what I mean? It's just, that's false, isn't it? And that's what I told Steve. And he was going, oh, Carl, you're an idiot. How can you not be blown away by, you know, the wonder of the world? Um, and I said, oh, I think it was the crowd that did me head in. You know, I didn't enjoy it because of all the people up there. So he sorted me out a helicopter ride to see it from above. He said, that'll blow me away. So have you been in a helicopter? No, no, I've never done it before. So it's just a little bit, you know, nervous about it. It's just you've got no chance, have you? If it goes wrong, it's not like a plane that glides, it just drops. It's almost like <laughs> it should be in the air, really. <laughs> <laughs> I like a message for Suzanne, really. Do you want to take it? Then? <laughs> then I'll leave it. <laughs> she gets a load of money anyway, doesn't she, if it all goes wrong? <laughs> <laughs> kind of thought people with money who buy one you sort of go absolute knobhead what do you need one of them for but it's definitely the best way to get about that I mean the landing's a little bit like oh god and I, I wasn't really enjoying seeing the, the wonder at the time because I'm like thinking am I going to land and all that but it's, <laughs> it's brilliant best thing I, I reckon I can go home now yeah but that's, what, that's it is it that's the, that's the big finale I just thought you meant when you said about the helicopter. That's I just said I enjoyed it. That's all. Yeah, and the Jesus thing was all right as well. <laughs> you enjoyed the helicopter. And the Jesus thing was all right as well. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh shit! Oh, oh this shit. is the next time I like to just be in it like fresh. That's why I love this show. Like Carl's hilarious. Definitely, and then he definitely. says he has a lot of valid points whenever he says stuff. But uh-huh. just like him, just saying like, like for me, like one of the things that sums up for me is like when he said, uh, he enjoyed the helicopter, but his friend were falling the whole time and all yeah. the jazz. Or is it gonna land? Right. I'm one of those people where same thing. Like the trip kind of ruins the destination for me. So like all the anxiety of traveling ruins the destination for me all the time when it comes uh-huh. to stuff like that. Like if uh, I don't know I'm gonna, I have to go to the airport. I know I need, need to go through the security line. Mm-hmm. I know there's a good chance I might have to um, claim my bag. I know there's a good chance if I don't claim my bag, I'm going to get on board. Somebody's going to bring more carry-on than they should because sometimes the airports don't enforce it. So I will not have any place to put my bag. <laughs> now i got to sit right up close to another chair because I'm not in first class or anything. Mm-hmm. And my bag has to sit between my legs or under my seat. And that's uncomfortable. It's like all that stuff asks to so like, then you get there. You're like, what's all this worth it? Right, What's right, right. It's, 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 it's all plausible uh, inquiries. Like, 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 like. Hold on. Like, uh, uh, uh. What if the what, what what if this helicopter do fall? So the whole time he can't even enjoy things because the 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 helicopter from a first. Uh, hey, yeah. Hey, dude, dude. He he got some. He got some. Uh, he he got some imbalance, but a balance. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty. It was pretty cool. He funny. He, he he's he's. I, I I don't know. He, he, he's, he's a simple he's guy. A, he, yeah, he's, he's a simple guy. Yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's, he's a simple so guy. He likes simple so things, that. and that's one thing. Like he's yeah, so yeah. He, I, I, he, he's reductionist. He always brings things down to like the basic, most basic. Basics, stuff. yeah. I'm yeah, it basic, makes life a yeah. lot more, yeah. lot simpler, man. A lot simpler life to live. That's what I like about him. Yeah, and I always say sometimes like, I feel like <laughs> I'm a really happy guy. Mm-hmm. As long as, like, same thing with him, like, yeah, I think he's happy, as right. long as he's comfortable. Definitely. I don't think anybody likes being uncomfortable, and a lot of people just see the world a different way. They, yeah. they feel like it's, uh, same thing with, like, I don't really like trying a lot of new foods, because now times a 10, I'm spending, like, way more money than I would on a normal meal, Right. and then I, I eat it, and I'm like, everybody's been talking this up, so, like, when people talk about filet mignon so much, right. and I spent, shut out all this dough, like, to try, like, one of the best filet mignons, like, I just, I was like... I've had red eyes that taste better than this or close to this. Definitely. So definitely, like, so I why? Agree. And I got more, and and I had more meat with the red eye. Uh-huh. So like, I'm like looking like, why did I just spent all this money on like? I like get my it. Dimitri Vodka. 
You know, like, yeah. like, 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 I just spent plenty of money up on higher brands of, of, of liquor advice after the enjoy. So I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so you're happy. To, so, so it's happiness just lies in, so, in, in a whole different, yeah. different spot, different p- position. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Familiarity. Yeah, familiarity. Okay, okay I got you. Yeah. He, he likes the familiar, man. Yeah. He likes stuff that, like, he, like, he, I know this tastes good, so that's what I'm going to get. Mm-hmm. I know this route, so that's the route I'm going to take. Yeah. I know this show or this station, so this is what I'm going to watch or listen uh-huh. to. And I, I can. Like don't get me wrong, like I like I like I say, I love experimenting new with new stuff in certain realms. Yes, yeah, technology. Right. I experiment with new stuff all the time with technology. Right. Um, when it comes to like cars, like I wanted my first like what do you call electric um car. So I was like, you know what, I have some range anxiety. That's why mm-hmm. I got a Prius Prime because uh-huh. like electric and gas, and it was fair price. It was very inexpensive. Right. So I'm like, good, a good price and everything. Like, I I get to dabble both, but like certain stuff, I just don't want to go. I like. You just ain't got, ain't, ain't got I, to the I can't yet. take the who, the full leap. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I like about Carl, man. He he like he he makes sense. I'm not uh-huh. as I don't. I'm not as afraid of trying changes as he is, but mm-hmm. I definitely I definitely get where he's coming from. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. That that that's his method. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> to to change. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, uh, you can see he, he almost have to have a almost a force forceful change or 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 necessary. Change for 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 change, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Put it put it say he changed for for necessity. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He don't he don't change for 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 trend. He's more yeah. of a necessity. Ch- yeah, yeah. Okay, he'll he'll do it because he has to, and it's like it's it. Only bad thing is you didn't get to watch from the beginning of the series. Uh, I'm like from watching like I'm only in episode six, but you can already kind of start to see him when. He gets fed up, like he's like, I'm not staring anymore. He went to stay somewhere else. Uh, and he went to the old boy's house. He's like, I'm not staring. I'm going somewhere else. And like those episode where they kept trying to make him ride a camel. He's like, I'm done. I'm not getting back on the camel. Yeah. But first he got to just went along with, like everything, um, including, yeah. including <laughs> like Ina told he didn't want to eat. So like um, that was like the China episode. This is just such a good show. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys introduced me to this show. It's such a good show. I'm gonna. I try to share it with as many people as I could. I don't think. Um, I watched one with Jeffrey. I don't really think he enjoyed it that much. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he enjoyed it people. much. But it's, it's really, really good. Um, hopefully, guys. My brother's first time on the thing, so hopefully it didn't spike too much for you guys. I'm gonna go through and, and take a look because um, that's not. I did the same thing. I remember early on the channel, I'm like uh-huh. talking and it's like spiking and everybody's like, dude, you got to crank, get the mic or something uh-huh. away because like you're throwing my, you're destroying my eardrums. So like, yeah, that's the only reason like I know about it. You don't realize how much it's like spiking. And definitely, that's, definitely, definitely a yeah. ye- yellow, bro. I appreciate you guys tuning in to my brother channel as well. He worked hard on these videos. I see the work he put in, you know, yeah. so this, this, the least I could do is join him and watch one of these videos yeah. uh, with him. So, uh, Man, you got anything else? Oh no, 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 good, no, yeah. no. I, That's 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 my. Well, well, I appreciate that, brother. <laughs> yeah. I, I really do enjoy doing these, man. This is this is really really fun to me, and I appreciate you guys getting us to um, over thirty thousand subscribers. That's really awesome, and um, that is all for this one, guys. Please send you like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one later.